welcome to the mathematics in my channel in this video we are going to prove limit x approaches to 0 sin of x so x is equal to 1 uh, using uh, unusual ways so we know generally uh, we prove this identity uh, by using uh, geometry uh, using a unit circle but in this video uh, I am going to prove this identity uh, by using unusual ways so first I am going to use the gamma function so we know uh, here limit x approaches to 0 sin of x over x so I am going to take x is equal to pi times n now we can write limit uh, x approaches to 0 we so we know n also approaches to 0 so n approaches to 0 now here sin of instead of x pi times n over uh, x is equal to pi n okay then um, actually uh, this is uh, not using gamma function this is Euler's reflection formula I am going to use Euler's reflection formula so here now we can write 1 over n times here we can write 1 over pi over sine of pi n and now we know Euler's reflection formula gamma of x times gamma of 1 minus x is equal to pi over sine of pi x so now we can write here limit n approaches to 0 1 over here n now pi over sine of pi n we know gamma of n times gamma of 1 minus n okay then we know uh, about this identity gamma function uh, n times gamma of n is equal to gamma of 1 plus n so here instead of n times gamma of n we can write gamma of 1 plus n so now we have limit n approaches to 0 1 over gamma of 1 plus n gamma of 1 minus n then uh, if we apply 0 here we have gamma of 1 times gamma of 1 gamma of 1 we know 1 so the answer is 1 okay then mm, next method uh, I am going to use the power series so now next method uh, we know uh, this is second method so this is first method so we know sine of x is equal to uh, sum 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n over 2n plus 1 factorial times x raised to the 2n plus 1 okay then uh, our identity limit x approaches to 0 sine of x over x now we can write this is equal to limit uh, sorry x approaches to 0 now instead of sine of x we have uh, infinite sum 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n power 2n plus 1 factorial times x raised to the 2n plus 1 over x now we can simplify this x get cancelled and this one get cancelled so we have limit x approaches to 0 uh, infinite sum minus 1 to the n power over 2n plus 1 factorial times x raised to the 2 times n ok then here limit x approaches to 0 now uh, if we look at the first term if we plug in 0 we will have 1 so we have 1 plus now uh, except uh, first term we have n is equal 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n over 2n plus 1 factorial times x raised to the 2n now if we apply limit x approaches to 0 we know this is equal to 0 here 1 so the answer is one well so now uh, the question limit x approaches to 0 sine of x over x 
uh, we can write this is also equal to limit x approaches to 0 limit u approaches to 0 uh, sine of x plus u minus sine of u over x and then I am going to write limit u approaches to 0 limit x approaches to 0 sine of x plus u minus sine of u over x okay now here we know the definition of limit here we have uh, f dash of x so we can write limit u approaches to 0 and this is equal to uh, the derivative of sine function okay now we know here we have limit u approaches to 0 cosine of u so we know u approaches to 0 cosine of 0 we know 1 okay this is the answer this is third method and now uh, fourth method so I am going to use uh, Euler's formula we know here uh, limit x approaches to 0 sine of x over x now uh, using Euler's uh, formula uh, we can write sine of x uh, as a uh, limit x approaches to 0 sine of x we know e to the ix minus e to the minus ix over 2 times i here x so 2 times i x ok then mm, uh, sorry we can write this is also equal to now limit x approaches to 0 here e to the ix minus e to the minus ix we can write e to the ix over 2 times ix sorry ok then um, we can simplify limit x approaches to 0 here 1 over e to the ix so common denominator we have e to the ix so we can write 1 over e to the ix times limit x approaches to 0 here now e to the 2 ix e to the 2 ix minus 1 over 2 ix and we know this is equal to 1 and here x approaches to 0 here also 1 so the answer is 1 ok then uh, fifth method last method now uh, our question limit x approaches to 0 sine of x over x uh, now uh, I am going to take a substitution so x is equal to pi times n now we know here limit uh, n approaches to 0 sine of pi n over n sorry pi n now we can write 1 over pi is a constant so 1 over pi limit n approaches to 0 1 over n times sine of pi n now uh, we know uh, this identity about di gamma function di gamma of 1 plus n minus di gamma of n is equal to 1 over n 1 over n so we can write here um, 1 over pi limit n approaches to 0 uh, now instead of 1 over n di gamma of 1 plus n minus di gamma of n uh, times sine of pi n ok then uh, here we have di gamma of n now we know uh, reflection property reflection formula about di gamma function di gamma of 1 minus n minus di gamma of n is equal to pi times cotangent of pi n so we can write uh, now here 1 over pi limit n approaches to 0 uh, di gamma of 1 plus n minus now instead of di gamma of n we can write uh, di gamma of 1 minus n plus pi times cotangent of pi n uh, times times here sine of pi n ok then um, we can write 
this is uh, also equal to here 1 over pi limit n approaches to 0 uh, here sin of pi n so sin of pi n times di gamma of 1 plus n minus di gamma of 1 minus n uh, plus limit n approaches to 0 here uh, sin of pi n times pi times cotangent of pi n we know uh, uh, here sin of pi n get cancelled so we have pi times cosine of pi n okay then um, we can apply limit here 1 over pi now limit n approaches to 0 this term 0 so we know this term will be also 0 n approaches 0 cosine of 0 1 here pi so here pi now pi get cancelled and we have the answer is 1 okay if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching